क्वेश्चन नंबर वन डिफाइन नियोप्लेजिया डिस्कस द डिफरेंस बिटवीन बिनाइन एंड मेलिग्नेंट ट्यूमर मेलिग्नेंट ट्यूमर मेलिग्नेंट ट्यूमर कंट्रोल्ड ग्रोथ ऑफ सेल्स दैट इज नॉट अंडर फिजियोलॉजिकल कंट्रोल अ ट्यूमर आर मास लीजेंस इज सिंपली अ ग्रोथ आर एनलार्जमेंट व्हिच मे नॉट बी नियोप्लास्टिक the term cancer implies malignancy but neoplasma can be sub classification as either benign or malignant now difference between um, benign tumor and malignant tumor benign tumor is non cancerous tumor malignant tumor is cancerous tumor benign tumor uh, stops growth after reaching the certain size but malignant tumor shows identification of growth in benign tumor it gets converted over by the capsule of connective tissue blood but uh, this malignancy is um absent benign tumor is non invasive but this uh, malignant tumor it shows it shows the metastasis by invading other parts of the body benign tumor limitedly uh, adherence occurs uh, among cells or benign tumor there is no Uh, adherence amongst cells they tend to slip uh, post another one there is uh, no latent uh, latent period of benign tumor here latent period occurs between the uh, occurs between the progression of tumor benign tumor is growth is very slow once the malignant tumor growth and development will be very fast means abnormal multiplication of the cells in benign tumor normal multiplication of the cells benign tumor is causes very little damage of our body it causes number two, uh, fetal damage to the Body. pathogenesis of tb lung pathogenesis means it is the process by which an identification leads to disease namage yavadara ondu disease adaga ad process henge henge akketi henge hutteti henge beliteti henge yav yav signs and symptoms anna kodteti annodakka nam en martavi pathogenesis anta heltevi pathogenesis of pulmonary tb tuberculosis Uh, tb means tuberculosis pulmonary tuberculosis is the contagious contagious antandra baala severe infection adu obrinda obrige harutate anta infectious disease that attacks our lung tuberculosis develop when mycobacterium tuberculosis this is the causative organism of tuberculosis bacteria are inhaled into the lungs namma lungs ge odag hogirtad adu this infection is usually stay in the lungs what are the stages of uh, tuberculosis pathogenesis tb infection happens in four stages the initial uh, microphage uh, response the growth stage the immune control stays and the lung activation stays these four stages happens over roughly within one month etiological factors of pulmonary tuberculosis etiological factors means nothing but um, causes of 
ಟುಬರ್ಕ್ಲೋಸಸ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೆಡಿಕಲ್ ಕಂಡೀಷನ್ ಅಂತಂದರೆ ಯಾವುದಾದ್ರೂ ಡಿಸೀಸ್ದಿಂದ ಸಫರ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರೆ ಇಮ್ಯುನ್ಯು ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಇಮ್ಯುನ್ಯು ಡಿಸಾರ್ಡರ್ಸ್ ಇದ್ರೆ ಇಮ್ಯುನಿಟಿ ಪವರ್ ಕಡಿಮೆ ಇದ್ರೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ಎಚ್ ಐ ವಿ ಇನ್ಫೆಕ್ಷನ್ಲಿಂದ ಸಫರ್ ಆಗಿದ್ರೆ ಅಥವಾ ವೈರಸ್ಲಿಂದ ಯಾವ್ದಾರ ವೈರಸ್ಲಿಂದ ಇನ್ಫೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಗಿತ್ತು ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಕಾಜಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಟಿಯಾಲಾಜಿಕಲ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ದೆನ್ ಡಯಾಬೆಟಿಸ್ ಮೆಲೈಟಸ್ ಪೇಷಂಟ್ ಪೇಷಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ರಿಸ್ಕ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸಿವಿಯರ್ ಕಿಡ್ನಿ ಡಿಸೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಲೋ ಬಾಡಿ ವೇಟ್ ಆರ್ಗನ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲಾಂಟೇಷನ್ ಹೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ನೆಕ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ಸರ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕಾಸಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟಿಯಾಲಾಜಿಕಲ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಿಸ್ಕ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಟಿ ಬಿ ಲಂಗ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಇಟಾಲಜಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ಯಾಥೋಜಿನಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರೊಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಡಿಸೀಸ್ ಆಗೆಲ್ಲ ಪ್ಯಾಥೋಜಿನಸಸ್ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಹೇಳ್ತೇನೆ ನಾನು ಆ ಡಿಸೀಸ್ ಬಂದ ಮೇಲೆ ನಮ್ಮ ದೇಹದೊಳಗೆ ಏನೇನು ಬದಲಾವಣೆಗಳಾಕ್ಕವ ಆ ಇನ್ಫೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ಮೈಕ್ರೋ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಸಮ್ನಿಂದ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಟೀರಿಯಾಲಿಂದ ವೈರಸ್ಲಿಂದ ಏನಾಗ್ತೈತಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಅಲ್ಲೇ ಮೈಕ್ರೋ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಟುಬರ್ಕ್ಲೋಸಿಸ್ನಿಂದ ಇನ್ಫೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಗಿತ್ತು ಇಲ್ಲೇ ಪ್ಯಾಥೋಜಿನಸಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರೊಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಡಿಸೀಸ್ ಇಟಿಯಾಲಾಜಿಕಲ್ ಫ್ಯಾಕ್ಟರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಕ್ರಾನಿಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರೋಗ್ರೆಸಿವ್ ಡ್ಯಾಮೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ವಾಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಿಸಲ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಬೈ ಡಿಸ್ಫಂಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಕಾಂಪ್ಲಿಕೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ಆ್ಯನ್ ಅಟೋ ಇಮ್ಯುನ್ಯೂ ಡಿಸಾರ್ಡರ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಅಕ್ಯೂಟ್ ರೊಮ್ಯಾಟಿಕ್ ಫೀವರ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟರ್ನ್ precipitated by group A streptococcal infection of the throat pathological pathologically rheumatic fever is characterized by inflammatory changes in subadenoepithelial and um, perivascular collagen tissue in rheumatic uh, cardiacties the granuloma formation comprising uh, prevascular um, nodules has been described as the most characteristics are finding in rheumatic heart disease what are the causes of rheumatic heart disease then uh, most of the these conditions happens when uh, any person is suffering from immune system disorders or um, sometimes in um, hereditary uh, cigarette smoking uh, pollution and uh, infection causes of infection uh, pathogenesis of rheumatic heart disease rheumatic heart disease result from either single or repeated attack of rheumatic fever that result in tri- rigidly and uh, deformity of valve capsules the fusion of the shortening and fusion of the uh, tendons over 2 to 3 uh, decades valves stenosis and regulation result number 15 types of necrosis what is necrosis necrosis is the death of tissue it occurs when too little blood flow to the tissue this can be from injury radiation or chemicals necrosis cannot be revised when large areas of tissue die due to lack of blood supply in this condition is called as necrosis common cause of necrosis necrosis is the death of the cell in our body tissue necrosis can occur due to injury infection or disease or lack of blood supply to the tissue or sometimes extreme environmental condition this is the cause for necrosis then there are different types of necrosis are there 
different patterns of necrosis means um, coagulative necrosis with the coagulative necrosis the dead cell remains firm and look normally for for many days after death also this is um, liquor effective necrosis fat necrosis then um, cassius necrosis fibronoid can uh, necrosis and gangrenous necrosis and osteo necrosis these are the question number 5 write in detail about fracture healing fracture healing process will be same stage in children and as well as adult but occurs at much faster rate fracture heal by forming calculus which follows three overlapping phases number 1 inflammatory reparative and remodeling these are the three phases of heal fracture healing stages means here hematoma formation granulation tissue formation bony calculus formation and bone remodeling these are the five stages through this stages that is fracture healing process will be going on then again there are uh, how uh, in four stages in the repair of broken bone how its occur means the formation of hematoma at the break yavaga kai muritetala mura takshana second one the formation of uh, fibro um, cartilages calculus and amale gatte cartilage antandre which bone will be easily bended adu nen martatte adar mele calculus sakashe belilike start aagutade the formation of bony calculus madleka cartilage development aagutade next bony calculus then fourth one is remodeling and adduction of compact bone these are the uh, four stages how repair of our broken bone then what is the mechanism the, uh, mechanisms are physiologically it is complex involving both biological and mechanical aspects means that is a following fracture cell migration and uh, tissue differentiation tissue synthesis and cytokine and growth factors release occurs regulated by the mechanical environment fracture healing is the regenerative process in which bone is restored without scar tissue formation question number 6 goiter goiter means a simple goiter is an enlargement of the thyroid gland it is usually not a tumor or cancer it it may cause for iodine deficiency is the most common cause of goiter andre nam kutigi mumbhaga ಬಾವು ಬಂದ್ಬಿಡ್ತತಿ ಇದು ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಮಂದಿಗೆ ಬರ್ತತಿ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಯಾರು ಸಮುದ್ರದ ದಂಡೆಯೊಳಗೆ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ಸ್ಟೇಯಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ನಿಯರ್ ದ ಸೀಶೋರ್ ದಟ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ದ ಗ್ವೈಟರ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ನೀಡ್ಸ್ ಅಯೋಡಿನ್ ಟು ಪ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಥೈರಾಯ್ಡ್ ಹಾರ್ಮೋನ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಡು ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಇನಫ್ ಅಯೋಡ್ ಅಯೋಡಿನ್ ಇನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಡಯಟ್ ದ ಥೈರಾಯ್ಡ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಲಾರ್ಜರ್ ಟು ಟ್ರೈ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪ್ಚರ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಅಯೋಡಿನ್ all the iodine it can make the right amount of thyroid hormone means adaka naam en madbeka iodized uppo iruvanta da uppanna naam market neginda thagond barbeku goiter is the one of the serious problem then it is relatively very common they are pre 
फाइव पर्सेंट ऑफ द पीपल इन यूनाइटेड स्टेट अ गोयटर इज टैपिकली नॉट डेंजरस अनलेस द अंडरलाइंग कॉज ऑफ थैराइड एनलार्जमेंट इज थैराइड कैंसर इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट टू आइडेंटिफाई द कॉज ऑफ द गोयटर टू रूल आउट कैंसर गोयटर कैन बी एसोसिएटेड विथ हाइपोथैराइडिजम एंड हाइपरथैराइडिसम सो यू हव टू चेक दिन अरे चेक एफ एन ए सी मतर कीडल हाकि एफ एन ए सी मतर अद्तार फाइन नीडल आस्पिशन सैटालजी अंत हेतार हईपोथैराडिसम हईपरथैराडिसम हे चेक टी एच एस अंदर थैराइड स्टिम्युलेटिंग हार्मोन चेक ईडेंटिफाई मतर दिस वेरी इंपारटेंट टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फैव फैब्रॉड यूट्रस् यूट्राइन फैब्रॉड्स आर् नॉन कैंसर ग्रोथ आफ यूट्रस् दैट आफन अपियर ड्यूरींग द चाइल बेरींग इयर आलो काल दिस द मयोमा यूट्राइन फैब्रॉड्स आर् नाट असोसियेटेड वित् एंड इनक्रीज द रिस्क आफ यूट्राइन कैंसर and almost never develop into cancer type of fibroids sub serocial fibroids sub serocial fibroids are located near the outer layer or serosa of the obesity family history of uterine fibroids high blood pressure no history of pregnancy vitamin d deficiency and food addictive consumption what are the common cause, common symptoms of uterine fibroids bleeding between the period heavy bleeding during your period sometimes with blood clot periods that may last longer than normal needing to uterine more more often pelvic cramping or pain with period feelings fullness of pressure in our lower belly pain during intercourse then how you are going to diagnose an abdominal ultrasound pelvic ultrasound an endometrial biopsy then hysteroscopy hysteros scalpel hystero sulfingography and laparoscopy these are the investigations for identify the fibroid fibroid uterus surgery uterine artery immobilization small particles are injected into the arteries supply the uterus cutting of blood flow to the fibroids causing them to shrink and die radio frequency uh, laparoscopy or robotic myomectomy or hysteroscopy myomectomy endometrial ablation question number 8 draw neat label diagram of neuromuscular junction The neuromuscular junction abbreviation is N M J is a sympathetic connection between the terminal end of a motor nerve and muscles means skeletal muscles smooth muscles and cardiac muscles it is the site 
for the transmission of action potential from nerves to the muscles it is also a site for many diseases and a site of action for many pharma- pharmacological drugs here neuromuscular junction diagram is also there you have to draw the diagram motor neuron action is also there axon terminal end is also there motor end plate is also there and sympathetic uh, vascular containing uh, there are many parts are there you have to draw properly question number 2 achalasia cardia take away achalasia cardia is a chronic condition in which the muscles at the base of throat threat where food enter enters the stomach is too tight this can cause food and liquids to back up in other throat cause of achalasia is poorly understood and research uh, researchers suspected it may be caused by a loss of nerve cells in the esophagus there are theories about what causes this but viral infection or autoimmune responses have been suspected having a creatinine creatinine genes having a problem with our immune system that cause it to attack the nerve cells in our esophagus having perhaps simple simplex virus or other viral infection having having disease this is an a infection caused by the parasite common cause of achalasia cardia the extra cause of achalasia is poorly understood researcher suspected it may be caused by a loss of nerve cells in the esophagus there are theories about what caused this but viral infection or autoimmune response has been suspected investigation for achalasia cardia barium swallowing x ray chest plain x ray and abdomen and esophago esophagoscopy and is esophageal monometry ultrasound these are the investigations are required endoscopic then myotomy is also uh, required for the treatment purpose question number 10 sequestrum what is sequestrum of bone a sequestrum is a piece of necrotic bone detached from the healthy tissue usually secondary to a trauma means due to trauma lack of soft tissue covering the distal bones sequestrum sign sign symptoms pain tenderness soft tissue swelling at the affected site are the most common symptoms and also inflammation at the site of sequestrum 
heat at the site of sequestrum open wound with or without draining sequestrum diagnosis means ct scan can be useful method to detect early erosion and to document the presence of sequestrum or foreign body or gas formation this is called as sequestrum sequestrum means that is a piece of necrotic bone mm, necrotic means that is a death of located area what are the complications sequestrum complications means that is a osteomyelitis then uh, the pathological process is followed by some of the complications that leads to increase the intramedullary pressure due to infl- inflammation <coughs> the periosteum become stripped from the osteum leading to vascular thrombosis sequestrum surgery means that is the keratotomy is the surgery treatment for sequestrum surgery is performed usually an operating with microscope micro surgical ophthalmic instruments can be used to perform the surgery question number 7 renal calculus renal calculus means kidney stones also called as renal calculi and hard deposits made up of materials and salt that form inside our kidneys due to diet excess body weight or some medical conditions and certain supplements and medications are among the medications are among the many cause of kidney stones or renal calculi is a risk factors factors that increase our risk of developing kidney stones include family or personal history dehydration certain diet obesity digestive disease and surgery and renal calculi these are the causes possible causes including drinking too little water exercise excess exercise or creating food with too much salt or sugar, sugar infects and family history might be important in important in some people eating too much fructose and correlates with increasing the risk of developing a kidney stones renal calculi signs and symptoms severe pain on their side of our lower back more vague pain or stomach ache with stomach ache that does not go away blood in the urine nausea and vomiting fever and chills urine and smell or looks cloudy imaging treats may show kidney stones in our urinary tract high speed or dwell energy 
कंप्यूटराइज्ड टीमोग्राफी में रिवील इवन टिनी स्टोन्स सम एबडोमिनल एक्सरेस आर यूज्ड लेस फ्रिक्वेंटली बिकॉज ऑफ बिकॉज ऑफ दिस काइंड ऑफ इमेजिंग टेस्ट कैन मिस स्मॉल किडनी स्टोन्स वॉट इज द नेम ऑफ द सर्जरी मीन्स दैट इज नेफ्रो नेफ्रोलिथोट्रिप्सी एंड अल्ट्रोस्कोपी एंड ओपन सर्जरी ओके दीज आर द नेम ऑफ द सर्जरी फॉर रीनल क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व हाइपर प्लेजिया हाइपर प्लेजिया इज इनक्रीज शेल प्रोडक्शन इन नॉर्मल टिश्यू आर इन द ऑर्गन हाइपर प्लेजिया में भी साइन ऑफ एबनॉर्मल प्री कैंसरस चेंजेस विल बी आकर इन हाइपर प्लेजिया सच टाइप ऑफ हाइपर प्लेजिया इज कॉल्ड एज पैथोलॉजिकल हाइपर प्लेजिया पैथोलॉजिकल हाइपर प्लेजिया मीन्स दैट इज अ ड्यू टू डिसीज कंडीशन मीन्स हियर दिस इज हाइपर प्लेजिया इज अ वन ऑफ द एबनॉर्मल साइन दैट इज अ मे बी प्री कैंसरस सो हियर वी हैव टू यू कैन एबल टू टेल दैट इज अ पैथोजेनिक हाइपर प्लेजिया इट कैन आल्सो बी ड्यू टू ग्रोथ ऑफ कंप्लीटली एबनॉर्मल सेल्स What are the causes of hyperplasia? Increase in estrogen without progesterone. If ovulation does not occur, progesterone is made and the line is not shed. The endometrium may continue to grow in response to estrogen. the cells that make up the lining may crowd together and may become abnormal hyperplasia types physiological hyperplasia hormonal hyperplasia and proliferate proliferation of granular epithelial cells of female breast tissue at puberty or may be in lactation here um, proliferation means that is the rapid uh, reproduction of cells here pathological hyperplasia already you know that pathological hyperplasia means uh, due to disease condition here endometrial hyperplasia due to excess of estrogen hormone benign prostatic hyperplasia due to excess of androgens androgens means th- those are male sex hormone what are the risk factors simple hyperplasia complex hyperplasia and simple hyperplasia with complications of hyperplasia simple hyperplasia is the most common type and is began uh, diffuse thickening of the endometrium hyperplasia diagnosis how we are going to diagnose means that is the transvaginal ultrasound examination and blood test biopsy and uh, x ray pap smear um, uh, pap smear swab pap smear test next hyperplasia what is the treatment for uh, hyperplasia what type of surgery means here that is a uh, one of the most common surgery for benign prostatic hyper Edema. What is edema? Edema means 
is swelling caused by the accumulation of fluid in particular part of the body it is often accompanied by inflammation edema is usually caused by standing or sitting in the same position for too long time eating too much of salt food being overweight being pregnant taking certain medication such as that is blood pressure medications contraceptive pills hormone therapy and antidepressant or steroids due to we are these are the causes of edema what are the main cause of edema immobility or standing for a long period is the most common cause of edema in the lungs sorry in the legs other possible causes including blood clot or severe varicose vein risk factors what are the risk factors for edema being a pregnant taking certain medication then having long standing illness and congestive heart failure liver disease kidney disease and having surgery that involve in the lymph node surgery these are the main cause for edema and types of edema peripheral edema pulmonary edema and cerebral edema number 1 that is a one peripheral edema means that is the end kalina tudi kai tudi fit angle legs hands and arms pulmonary edema means this this occurs when excess fluid collects in the lungs due to make uh, this due to difficulty in breathing cerebral edema this occurs in the brain this is one of the very serious complication of diabetic retinopathy edema will be diagnosis by health care provider by collecting the family history physical examination and blood test ultrasound examination and uh, these are the investigations has done to diagnose the edema what is the treatment of edema then medications are water pills is also known as diuretics frisomanide means lasix and uh, uh, lifestyle uh, modification home remedies uh, and uh, long wearing compression of uh, stockings uh, gloves these are the helpful you can prevent the edema question number 11 vitamin d deficiency vitamin d deficiency means you don't have enough vitamin d in your body it's primarily cause tissues with other bones and muscles vitamin d is an essential vitamin that our body uses for normal bone growth and development and maintenance of our body vitamin d also play a very important role in our nervous system musculoskeletal system and immune system uh, the most common serious complications of vitamin d deficiency means then low blood calcium level that is called as hypocalcemia low blood phosphate level means hypo phosphatonemia rickets means softness of the bone during childhood then osteomalacia osteomalacia means that is softness of the bone in adult 
then vitamin d how you can able to prevent then what type of care you supposed to take vitamin d test is um, not approved but um, that uh, vitamin d is necessary for routine preventable screening due to insufficient evidence of efficiency vitamin d test is proven and immediately necessary for some of the medical conditions and medical diagnosis also we associated with vitamin d vitamin d <coughs> risk factors of vitamin d means already you know that that is hypercalcemia uh, hypophosphatemia rickets and osteo malacia okay these are the um, serious risk question number 15 epistaxis epistaxis means bleeding from the nose what are the causes for epistaxis nose bleed happens when one of the blood vessels in the lining of the nose nose bleeds may be caused by infection injury allergic reactions nose packing or an object being pushed into the nostrils another name of nose bleed is epistaxis this is uh, caused by nose bleeds nose pack are in stretching the inside inside of the nose rubbing the nose of an dry air then home heating system may dry the air in our home and also dry the lining of the nose getting heat in the nose then putting an object inside it okay blowing too hard then cold all are allergic condition risk factors of epistaxis trauma is the most common risk factors of epistaxis in childhood the and un predictable risk factors other risk factors are vascular abnormalities hereditary and hemorrhagic condition and congestive heart failure and granuloma mitosis with polyanxieties infection symptoms of epistaxis including bleeding from one or both nostrils bleeding down the back of the throat with spitting coughing and vomiting of blood and um, what is the treatment sitting upright position lining slightly sorry leaning slightly forward and pinching the both nostrils 5 to 10 minutes may help stop a nose bleed or you can apply the cold application on the nose the first step in managing a severe nose bleed involves packing the nose that is the most important that is uh, children in children especially during the winter months uh, epistaxis may happen